everybody, Right Polo Tech here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put together and I'm going to kind of do a review and give you my opinion on this rolling ball hopper. It's also been called uh, a rolling tennis ball mower. It's also called a ball retriever. Whatever you want to call it, it's basically the same thing. So what it is, is it's basically a drum that you roll across the ground and pick up tennis balls so you don't have to bend down and pick them up. Now, I got this on Amazon. Uh, I'll put links in the description. This is a generic brand, so there's no name brand on it. Um, there's a several sellers that sell it on there. I think they range somewhere from about, I don't know, about $40 to about $60, give or take. Um, but anyways, uh, let's uh, get down to it. All right, so the first thing I wanna show you is how to put it together. Basically, it comes in a box like this. It's like 98% already put together. All you gotta do is basically assemble the handle and stick it in the machine. So I'll show you how to do that really quick here. Basically, this is what it looks like almost completely put together. You take the handle, it comes in two pieces. You get it get out of a plastic, there we go. You basically just depress one of these little knobs on the end here, slide it in until it clicks into one of the slots here, like that. And the other end, the same thing, it has a little button that you press in and you slide it into right here until it clicks right there. So then there you have it. That's where it looks like when it's completely assembled. Now, let's try it out. So I tried to simulate balls being hit all over the place. That's why I just dumped them out like that. Um, that other hopper that I have that I just dumped out, I think holds around 75 balls. So this one doesn't hold 75 balls. I think it's somewhere between the range of, uh, I think it's 50 to 60 balls is what this thing holds. So let's see what it does. One thing I also want to tell you is it's got a little stand right here. So that's why it can stand up straight like that for you. Uh, and the, you don't have to pick it up off the ground. You can actually stand it and hold it up like that. So, all right, let's try it. All right, so I think I've reached pretty close to its capacity here. I didn't count the balls, but um, my other hopper over there holds about 75 balls. This one obviously doesn't hold. There's probably roughly about 25 or so left over there. So I'd say this is holding somewhere around 50 uh, at the moment. So um, yeah, let me give you my thoughts on it first of all. Um, if you're rolling up against a fence, you're gonna have to pull the balls off the fence. It just isn't gonna get close enough with the edges here. So you're gonna have to just take your foot or whatever and just kind of slide them back off the fence a little bit. It is what it is. It's better than, in my opinion, it's still better than picking, bending down and picking up balls. Or if you've got one of those tube things, trying to pick them up like one at a time with the tube and then dump them in. Um, I like it so far. Um, it, it tends to pick up balls better when they, when it's a little fuller, when it's a little heavier. Um, so it tends to pick balls up easier, I guess. So the first couple that I rolled over kind of bounced out a little bit. Um, the very first couple that I rolled over, I don't know if you noticed it back in the video, but it kind of went through the hopper here and kind of stuck, the ball sort of stuck like halfway out. So when it rolled around, it hit this and it kind of jammed and I had to take my finger and kind of push it back in there. But that only happened when there was like a couple of balls in there. So. Um, once there was several balls in there, it just seemed to pick up better. Um, all in all, I'm fairly happy with it. I do want to show you guys some other things here on this. Um, I'm going to get here close, but so there are elastic bands here that cover up these holes right here. 
And to dump it out, all you do is, there's a little hook right here that's built in. You take this elastic band and you go there and then you can go ahead and you can just, it'd be nicer, honestly, I've been told, I read reviews on this as well, but it takes a lot to get them out um, to start with when it's kind of full. So it, it would be a lot nicer if the balls would come out easier, like you could dump them out easier. So that is one negative, I think. But as you can see, they are starting to dump out here um, as it gets less full. But I wish that they dumped out just a little bit easier than that, a little quicker than that, I guess I should say. But um, I mean, I guess you could, I didn't even think about this, but there's more hooks on every one of these bands. So you could probably hook all of them and they would dump out quicker. Yeah. So my bad. That That is something you would want to do when you're dumping it out is to hook all these hooks up here, uh, the elastic bands, and then dump all of them out at once. It'd be a lot quicker than doing it just through one of them like I started. So uh, not too bad then, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. And uh, I, think, I think I'm relatively pleased with it. Um, to me, it's, it's, it, I think I got mine for about, I don't know, somewhere in the $45 range. Um, and I'll put links in the description down below, so make sure you check those out if you guys want to get one of these. But yeah, all in all, I'm, I'm fairly pleased with it so far right now. All right, so that's my opinion on this. If you like this or found it useful, please smash that like button for me. I would really appreciate it. Also, consider subscribing to the channel. And one thing, I, one favor that I would like to ask of you guys is share it with at least one other person or share it on social media. It would really help out this channel tremendously. Uh, I really appreciate it, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.